<clears throat> Alright guys, today is uh, April 10th, Wednesday, 7.48 p.m. Eastern Time. The temperature is 58 degrees Fahrenheit and that's about 13 degrees Celsius. Um, I wanted to start in the afternoon, but I woke up, ate some food, and went back to sleep. Um, for some reason, every time I'm here and sitting down, people seem to want to take a picture of absolutely nothing here. I'm just setting up here. Um, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but... Uh, Yep. I don't know what there is to take a picture of here. I mean, there's this thing. It looks all right. But uh, let's wait for some people uh, before I start moving along. Today was mostly a cloudy day. And um, it was cloudy but sunny also. And next week's going to be low 60s and high 70s. And I think I saw Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Um, before the uh, anything started. Um, what do I want to talk about? Yep, it's the hotel, Plaza Hotel right here. I like starting here because this is the beginning of Midtown technically. Um, south of Central Park would be the beginning of Midtown. And I would say all the way up to Koreatown. And when you go more further down, is it Midtown? It's like the Garmin District around there, Nomad, north of Madison Square Park. Um, and this is the Sheridan Hotel, I believe. <clears throat> I wonder how long they're going to have the, uh, the Apple Vision over there. But yeah, I went to sleep for eight hours. I woke up, I ate some food. I was like, all right, maybe I'll just go live stream. And then I took a nap. And to call it a nap is more of an understatement because uh, it was more like sleeping part two. So maybe there's more bass in my voice because uh, I definitely slept well. And it's good for the evening walk because I did an afternoon walk yesterday. Uh, it's, it's nice to switch it up. And um, yeah, evening walks are going to be a little more challenging because now I have to come at, uh, I have to come at like 7.30 and eventually it's going to have to be 8 p.m. What's going on, Audie? What's up, George? Um, but um, yeah, sorry for uh, putting the schedule an hour before. Um, I didn't know when I was going to stream today and secondly, I seem to always get uh, dog piled, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I always seem to get dog piled and I don't think it'll matter later. I won't even care. Every time I come about to start, I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? <laughs> when I go open the YouTube app. All right, so uh, how much time has passed? Three minutes has passed. Let me, let me, let me, let me say this again for the people that just came in. <clears throat> Today is April 10th, 7.52 p.m. Eastern time. It's, 7, uh, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 13 degrees Celsius. And we're going to make our way to the same old midtown route well i want to make sure i didn't forget anything i don't know i have ocd like that i have ocd like that i don't know why people are here oh plaza hotel okay that makes sense but that this might not be the best uh vantage point you might want to go in front of the apple store i always do that all you got to make sure you didn't forget anything because uh you never know <clears throat> Maybe we'll go to uh, Hell's Kitchen, but it's Wednesday, so we're really not going to see much, maybe. But then again, it's, it's a nice day, so now that the nice days are coming out, the initial stages, there's always a lot of people because uh, there hasn't been nice days for a while. So as soon as the nice days start to come, I think even on the weekdays, you'll start to see uh, more and more people. But eventually, when people start taking the uh, warm days for granted, I think the weekdays will be less and less. No, uh, I'm trying to be implicit. Uh, if you know what I mean by being dogpiled. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's, 
I'm, I'm speaking in terms of streaming when I schedule it. But uh, maybe I'll just be more direct. Uh, there's a whole bunch more people streaming every time I schedule it way beforehand. I've noticed that uh, several times, but um, not only that, um, today I didn't really know what, uh, what um, time I was going to stream. <clears throat> All right, we're over here in Fifth Avenue. Uh, same old, same old. Much more people out. More commuters than usual. Not really, actually. The commuters are usually around here, but as you get closer to Rockefeller Center, you'll notice the uh, change and transition of people. Uh, Fifth Avenue, 53rd Street Station, that is definitely a tourist station because every time I go there and I want to exit the train, what usually should happen is people should move out the way. That's what should happen, right? Uh, but people seem to not move out the way in Fifth Avenue, 53rd Street Station. So uh, I, I conclude that that's a tourist station. Um, so what you're supposed to do before you enter the train is you're supposed to let everybody out first and then enter the train. But uh, Fifth Avenue, 53rd Street Station, on multiple occasions, that hasn't been the case. People seem to want to get in and they don't give a crap. Hopefully this thing is not too tilted. No, I think we're good. <clears throat> Man, there's so much noise going on. I'm glad I got the mic. You guys can probably hear all the noise even through the mic. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, next week is uh, high uh, 70s and uh, low upper 50s. So. We are heating up. I thought we were going to warm up, but I guess next week we're heating up. So that's a tier higher than warming up. Hmm. I won't be able to stream tomorrow on Saturday. I wonder if my pandemic job knows about my YouTube channel. They're trying to sabotage me. But um, yeah, so I work like pretty much in the middle of the day. I can technically stream um, Friday, but I'd have to get start really late, like 8, 8 p.m. <clears throat> but uh, Saturday, I'm gonna try to do two streams if I can. And that's when uh, I also want to do a lot of pre-recorded video. Every time scaffolding goes away, another one comes up in a different place. So forever scaffolding. Scaffolding is just a part of life. There's uh, nothing you can't do. That's past your bedtime man remember um when i was a kid i would be forced to sleep at 9 p.m and then when i started watching wrestling uh, i begged my mother <laughs> to let me you know watch wrestling and then uh yeah eventually i was able to sleep at 11. but nowadays as an adult i really need to fix my sleep schedule i wish sleep was like a charger you know how a charger it charges on demand i wish sleep was like that where you could just sleep on demand that would be so good. <clears throat> like sleep now, wake up at this time. That's about eight hours. But yeah, I slept like eight hours and I took like a two, three hour nap. So that must mean I really uh, needed move it. In with that's not even a nap. That's like sleep part two. What's up, Ambrose Chamber Pot? <clears throat> you give your driver's license to someone and it says Mr. Chamber Pot. <laughs> they, they, they give you back the license with disgust on their face. Cardboard. 
Is it garbage or? No, I don't think it's garbage. Yeah, I think there might be someone in there. Yeah, they are taking up the whole road, the whole sidewalk. Yeah, happy Eid Mubarak for the people that uh, celebrate it. <clears throat> I will try to be as uh, universally appealing to all religions as possible. So I guess uh, any, uh, whether it's Christmas or Eid, I uh, wish everybody a uh, Good holiday. Man, I average eight miles a day. No wonder I'm getting skinny. I can't even keep up with the calories. I can show you guys my, uh, I got a screenshot of it. Maybe later. And when I work and walk, do a walk, I have like, I average 35,000 steps. When I only walk, is only 15,000. Hey, what's up, Daryl? What's, what's good You're in the hood? I keep saying that. We're never in the hood. We have never streamed in the hood. Maybe one day. Maybe sooner than later. Sorry. Maybe the better version, the final form of me will come out quicker than I expected. With the warm weather heating up. The only thing I'm afraid of is uh, it seems like the connection gets really messed up the more lively it is. At least uh, the last time we were in Dumbo during the eclipse, Dumbo never really uh, did that. So I was like, what the heck is going on? Oh man, these guys are killing me. Oh, my bad, my bad. Anyways, um, yeah, the hollow card was also blasting music too. Jeez, there must be a, uh, a trick to this to do it a lot faster. But anyways, 32 inch waist. Um, yeah, I think I got 32, 30 inch waist. Um, I think it's getting smaller. No, I got a 32 inch waist. It's getting smaller. For uh, what most men, the lower belly fat is the hardest to lose. I think for everybody, male and female. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, I should have showed you guys the steam next to the uh, Apple store. It was like steaming like crazy. Like, it was steaming like you would think they're filming a movie shoot. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that steam uh, underground. But um, yeah, these cards playing their music this loud, that usually does not happen. The Lego store is closed. I'm going to try one day. One day I'm going to go here with this gimbal and see if they say anything. 
I'm gonna do it sooner than later. I might have messed up. I should have done it in the winter. You know why I should have done it in the winter? Because ain't nobody here. But uh, we'll see. I think uh, we gotta wait for heavy rain. When heavy rain comes, that's when uh, it's gonna be completely empty. That's when we strike. Actually, I realized some things that uh, are gonna be a lot harder to do in the summer, like streaming in Central Park. That's something uh, kind of took for granted during the winter because uh, there's not that many people, but that took me some reference experience to realize. <clears throat> You're 36 now? Yeah, you know when I was getting that freshman 15, I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> I, uh, I went to the gym, I'm like, yo, I don't feel like commuting and stuff. So uh, I started slowly making a garage in my gym. I mean, my, uh, gym into my garage, garage into my gym. Man, I'm getting the words mixed up. Um, garage into my gym by getting a, a bench, a power rack, and some dumbbells and bars. That's how I started it. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, John Doe? NYS here. What state, everyone? Damn, John Doe, you asked the same question. You a bot? I think John Doe is almost always like uh, Brooklyn here. Who else? Where you, where's everybody from? <clears throat> All right, we're in Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center is uh, past its peak. It's pretty much mostly dead relative to what we uh, were used to during the holidays. And... Um, a lot of stores closing in USA, I heard, all going online, Amazon taking over, I think. Yeah, I mean, online has a, a lot more benefits because it's very simplistic, easy, no hassle, no line, no fun, fumbling with your uh, purse to take out the money, no waiting for a old granny to take out her change and while you wait on the line and it's taking forever uh, but I think in terms of like uh, clothing and retail that still will be uh, superior in terms of uh, hold up there's like a mother free Man, the music just, even when there's no ice skating rink, the music is always blasting here. That's just uh, the way Rockefeller Center is. During the summer, they have like random events. I can't even remember. They usually have the events like around in front of Saks Fifth Avenue. And also I think in this plaza also. Hey, what's up, Adopted Pitbull? I saw Sergeant Stubby. He was a dog who became a sergeant. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he helped the military a lot. And he found a spy. And uh, yeah, cool dog. <laughs> I saw the summary, I didn't see the movie. <clears throat> All right, Adopted Pitbull, I, oh no, John Doe is real. My bad, John Doe, he's not a bot, he's good. I think Tyler is a bot. He's switching up his algorithm a little bit, but uh, I think Tyler's a bot. Tyler Silva. But I, I could still be wrong. <clears throat> Where are we going to go? Maybe we'll go to Hell's Kitchen today. Uh, because, uh, I don't know, switch it up a little bit. But it's a Wednesday. A Wednesday is getting chilly. <clears throat> Let me go up the chat to make sure I did not. The less businesses there are, the easier it is for the government to control it. 
Um, yeah. <clears throat> Makes you wonder if there's more fees in terms of physically having it or online. Online should be cheaper because there's less overhead, but who knows how much the uh, government tries to take from your revenue. Yeah, there's a YouTube video for any, anybody who wants to see Sergeant Stubby Pitbull. It's, uh, it's two minutes if you just, uh, it's like two minutes, three minutes watching 2x speed. You should be able to get the gist of the information. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's cool and interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I saw some, I saw like a dog save like toddlers and from a mountain lion, it was a really strong dog. I forgot what it was. It was white, it starts with a D, a breed, the breed. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so a bot would be a fake, uh, a fake person, right? So you know those uh, robocalls you get? That's a bot. Uh, yeah, that's a bot. Um, sometimes, you know, <laughs> people think that chatting with a hot girl is actually a bot that's programmed to uh, say certain things and certain phrases. And you know the Mario when I was in Nintendo? That's technically a bot. That's uh, programmed by an algorithm to say certain things depending on the response and etc. So, uh, I'm saying Tyler's a bot because he never really has dynamic conversations. And, um... Oh yeah, the Masif breed. Yeah, I think you're right. Wait, no, you might be talking about the, uh... Yeah, the Dojo Argentinian, I think it's that. Yeah. Like, beast. Here we go. Love evening walks, Candle. Nice. Um, let me actually go to a better position to look at the chat. I don't want you guys to be looking at nothing. <clears throat> but we're going to go hard on this channel. Either motivates everyone else or it brings up their insecurities. That's based on the individual. You want to see me on camera? Oh, man. Music to relax. Let me get a haircut first, all right? I promise I will do it. I will change to the front camera. Just give me a few days, because I need a haircut. It's been a month. But I will do it, okay? I promise. I think you promise, all right? That's it. But thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, you always help me out. And um, yeah, I always feel uh, I always got repaid. But I got you. Don't worry about it. But um, what was, what was I talking about? I mean, oh yeah, I gotta scroll the chat here. What's up, DWG? Uh, what do we got here? The uh, candle. We got uh, what's up, Chris Stevens? Uh, all right, DC White. What's going on? What's good in the hood. We out here. Kudo. All right. If you count your steps, you aren't taking enough of them. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, there's nothing personal here. I don't think there is. See? Oh man, I can't exit. Okay. Oh no, I can't, let me exit. All right. <clears throat> I got you music to relax, I promise. All right. I'm not a bot, I'm a real live person <laughs> with uh, thoughts and feelings. 
but uh, I got you. No worries. It will be uh, in a few days, right? And uh, hopefully you're there. If not, the replay will catch it. And then I'm going to force myself maybe this weekend to actually go and do it and switch the camera. <clears throat> because uh, you got to get done. All right. UBS building up there. Adele's is here today, maybe, I don't know. Adele's is not here, wow. What the heck is going on? Today is 8.14, it's a Wednesday. Oh, it's Eid. That's why, okay, that makes sense. There's no Adele's. Everybody's sad. <clears throat> All right. But, um... If you want to see me, I'm also, I showed myself on the Tribeca Bean video, pre-recorded video. That's, uh, I showed myself, I think, uh, I think a few other times also, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the pre-recorded video that I did last year, October 2023, is literally in the beginning. And I also did it on the live. Yeah, I also did it on the live. Wait, be careful how I phrase that. Phrase what, Ambrose? I gotta make sure. I, uh, maybe it's my delivery. This guy is playing 50 Cent. I guess uh, through Times Square, instead of going back to Sixth Avenue, we'll go to uh, we'll go to Eighth Avenue and then Ninth Avenue and check out Hell's Kitchen a little bit. Uh, there might be some weirdos there, but uh, it's part of the game, right? <clears throat> but the weirdos will be more bold in the summertime for whatever reason. There's a reason. the reason why there seems to be a high concentration of police officers in the tourist areas and the hood pretty much <clears throat> you come to Jamaica Avenue or South Bronx you will see a much higher concentration of uh, police officers on every corner probably see it a lot in a uh, Oh, I showed myself. Oh, okay. Damn, I don't know what you mean by that, uh, Ambrose. I think I do, but, uh, yep. Let's not get into that rabbit hole. <clears throat> the Diamond District. You gotta go there around uh, evening before sunset. I think everything closed. This guy's not blasting his music. Respect. But usually, uh, I guess if they're blasting their music, they're like, that's their mate call. Like, please come and, uh, please come and, um, sit on my bench inside the rickshaw. <clears throat> yeah, everything is closed. We will go another day I think Saturday I'm gonna try to do two streams I want to I don't want to say what I'm doing anymore I think uh, it makes it worse but we are gonna go on a ride Saturday if you know what I mean <clears throat> Hell's Kitchen is costly yeah it is costly um but I would say Hell's Kitchen is uh Definitely um, more preferable if you wanted to stay in Midtown and live in Midtown because it's somewhat away from the chaos. You really don't want to be around these commercial buildings, trust me. Uh, you don't want to be around all this. 
I live in Queens, this guy is freaking blasting his music. So you know, stuff like that. Uh, it just, uh, even me, I'm not used to it. <laughs> no matter uh, how much I come here, you would think I'm used to it. It just, get, I give you the perception that I'm used to it. I, I walk fast. Um, but yeah, I don't think you could really get used to the amount of people in Manhattan. <clears throat> Weirdos and why? Weirdos are, is my term that I use for people that are uh, kind of want to avoid, you know? Uh, I know there's a spectrum of weirdo. There's like the uh, interesting, interesting weird people that aren't necessarily uh, creepy and strange in a bad way. Like Elon Musk is a weirdo, right? I think Mark Zuckerberg is also a weirdo, but um, also the people in Skid Rows are weirdos too, right? So uh, there's a spectrum. But when I mention it, it's on the uh, more stranger danger spectrum, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Whoa, look at this. It's so nice. I don't even know what this is. Sushi Lab. It's always the pretty women that are the uh, hostess and waitresses and etc. <clears throat> we're gonna go, where we gonna go? We're gonna go to Times Square as usual. And then this time we're gonna go, we're gonna go, um, I can't even think gonna go west because west is the, when the avenues increase <clears throat> yeah press the like button uh, like the bit like the video as the media in effect on the growth of the channel we start accumulating more people and audience the walking channel audience and uh, hopefully people don't get too insecure <clears throat> that is another thing about the summer. The music is just blasting on another level. I don't know what it is. Like this guy right here behind me, holy crap, and holy. All right. Oh, we're in Times Square, and there's NYPD police, and there's a lot of tourists. And uh, you know when I see commuters here, I'm like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Two seconds. This guy's running. Here we are in Times Square, where we stream this to death. Nobody talks to us in Times Square, which is actually, I think, a good thing. Because, um, I don't want a whole bunch of questions coming my way. <clears throat> yeah, Peter, uh, I'm not getting dogpiled. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, Times Square is, uh, from my perspective, is very chaotic and crazy, but, uh, if you guys come here, you'll probably see the magic that I lost perspective in. Um, that's just a reality. Maybe if I'm away from New York long enough, I will feel the magic of Times Square again. But right now, uh, it's just a chaotic mess. And uh, as soon as I leave the stream, I have this uh, crazy urge to get the hell out of here. 
<clears throat> but uh, based on everybody's reactions, I've said it uh, before, but I'll say it again. Um, everybody's very happy and um, in awe of this whole experience, which I cannot relate to because uh, I grew up here. But uh, for context, uh, you have to assume, well, it's not just assuming. I bet a lot of people travel thousands of miles to get here. So uh, this is uh, the destination after traveling for thousands of miles and spending a lot of money. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. That's part of the context. Oh, I don't want to mess the thing up. <clears throat> They're gonna take a picture. <clears throat> oh, I could have took the spot. They weren't actually taking a picture. Oh, I'm just red. <clears throat> yeah, let's make every, let's get to. Either you motivate people, inspire people, motivate slash inspire people, they don't care, or they see you as a threat. I prefer being uh, motivation slash inspirational or not caring. I'd rather not have a threat. I'd rather not be perceived a threat. Because uh, uh, I've always caught people that perceive me as a threat before I was ever friends with them. And uh, I would not want to know how that ever turns out in life. <laughs> That's like a, uh, what do they call that? A friend of me, a stealthy friend. Person, sorry, I mess, I'm messing this guy's picture up. <clears throat> yeah, personally I don't find a town square to be all that interesting unless you want to see the eccentric Andy acting out. Quoted by Peter from the chat on I Walk NYC. Um, yeah, I should, I should always make that known because people probably think it's me <laughs> saying that. <clears throat> uh, but um, yeah, I can't even get out of here. I need to find an opening. I am stuck. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. Well, yeah, I don't mind being dog piled at 10K. I think my weight class will be different that time. All right. Uh, wow. She uh, came all the way here to see Times Square. Man, she's... That is uh, something. Yeah, Times Square is... Uh, not that amazing, but uh, it could also be uh, if you watched it a lot, maybe when you came here, you started feeling the same way we did. Let's see if you can spot the commuters here. Hopefully I don't lose connection. There's maybe 1% of New York City commuters here. You could catch them by the way they walk and their backpacks, but right now it's the evening, 
So uh, you probably will not see any commuters. You will definitely see them in the daytime. And you might be wondering what I'm wondering. Like, what the hell are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here, bro? Because... Because I think you guys also have the sixth sense now on uh, knowing who the commuters are and who the uh, tourists are. It's pretty obvious. Now I give you a plaque on 100K. I don't do shorts. All my, all my uh, viewers are concentrated long form viewers. I don't think I'm a 2K channel. If you see my returning viewers in the analytics and unique viewers, I definitely, I don't think I'm a 2K channel. But uh, that's a good thing. I like being a small channel that packs the punch. But uh, we'll see. I can fall off any time. So. Uh, Yeah, I know Spider-Man today. There's this guy. Oh, he is all the time. Oh, no. What's good, man? How's it going? Throwing up gang signs to me? <laughs> Look at you throwing up gang signs. Like, what hood you from? Oh, there is Spider-Man. Man. I hope I, I'm not losing connection. This is good. Uh, I wonder why. <clears throat> like the video, guys. Subscribe for more New York City Walk content. I'm going to keep doing more of these. And I'll try to kick it into high gear when the weather warms up. Uh, which is probably going to be in about a week. I think we're going to skip the warming up and go straight to heating up because uh, 70s, that's definitely not warming up. 60s is warming up. 70s is heating up. And hot summer is like 70s, 80s. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little chilly, slightly, not really. People overdress because I guess they want to be safe. Um, they want to be safe. Maybe T-Mobile fixed the connection here. Watching my streams, like yo, the connection sucks ass over here. I've got to help this guy out because I did mention T Mobile. And look at all the music playing all over the place, and the people, and the crowds, and the people. And yep, 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 yep. What's up with the blob of people here? I want to buy one of those fruits and review it on the spot when it's hot enough. All right, oh, I, want, I don't want to go back to 6th Avenue because we keep That's going true. there. Uh, I'm going to go to the unknown. I know 8th Avenue, a lot of weirdos there, but uh, 9th Avenue, not as much experience in, but we'll go see. Hopefully it doesn't get too quiet, but I think even for you guys, a little piece is nice after all this chaos. Wait, is he waving at me? No, he's waving at someone else. That's good, because I'm not here to uh, talk to anyone. Unless it's a pretty girl. No, I'm just kidding, guys. All right, we are on the second half of Times Square, and the costume characters are here, and the police are here watching them because uh, the costume characters like to act up sometimes, and they're probably asking for money, more money, more problems. Um, <clears throat> yeah, more elbow room on 9th Avenue, you're right. 9th Avenue has like this uh, classic New York feel with the buildings, and uh, I'll show you guys. It looks like all those stores are like forced in or something, as in like gentrification was like forget the buildings, just put the stores there. It's almost like those uh, small apartment buildings in Queens and they just stuffed in stores on the, on the lower level. A whole bunch of taxis. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh, 
I know. I don't want to mess their picture up. Let's let's go into tourist mode. Wee, 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 wee. All right. Wee. I'm standing on this thing up here. <clears throat> like I said, all the garbage are the type that you have to open up and put it in. And that's actually really good because uh, I don't want to ma imagine what the alternative is. If the alternative, which is the open garbage cans were here, uh, it would not be a pretty sight here. It would not also, it would also not be a pretty smell here too. Wee! I'm gonna jump and say wee! Wee! Oh crap, my bad guys. <laughs> <clears throat> all right i don't know i don't know about this place right here right here it's always where all the weirdos hang out uh but not today uh, i'm not sure why what is this this is a fast food restaurant that uh looks familiar but i don't think i ever tried I can't tell if that guy's a New Yorker. 50-50. That guy, he's a New Yorker, he fooled me. The guy with the suit. What evil lurks in the hearts of men, the shadow knows. Quoted by Peter on the chat of I Walk NYC, AKA Moen. I don't know what shadow knows. Oh, let me really talk. Uh, what evil is it? Yeah, I know. What, what evil lurks in the hearts of men? Yeah, you got to check their micro expressions. You got to check. I'm pretty much giving it away. You got to check their micro expressions. If they excessively copy you. You know, copying and inspiration is okay, but excessive copying to the point of minute details. Uh, yep, got to watch out for that person. All right, let me keep moving. Uh, Got this guy with the pocket three. All right, I need to go this way. Let's go to 8th Avenue. Hopefully this is not too crooked. I don't think so. Now we're good. <clears throat> Like I said before, if you want to uh, work on your jaywalking skills, start with the one laners, then advance the two lanes, and then um, yeah, I always stop there. Don't do anything more. The one lane streets are usually the uh, side streets. Um, all right, let's go to the 8th Avenue, a.k.a. the light version of the Hood Avenue. Oh, just a general statement about just uh, people in, in general and their uh, intentions and uh, motives that you can't uh, readily see. Oh no, Kev Zang, I'm not in Giant Town today. Today, started up at Fifth Avenue, went down to Times Square, Rockefeller Center, you know, the uh, traditional, the traditional uh, tourist route. Midtown Manhattan. Oh look, as we get to 8th Avenue, there's less and less people. I wonder why. We all know why. I don't even gotta tell you guys. Look, there's an NYPD inside uh, here. Oh, 
right. Trying to walk 8th Avenue a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, in terms of the uh, side streets, I would say um, you want to keep your alert level slightly higher on the side streets because uh, I think the side streets are where something more, more likely to happen because the side streets are somewhat isolated, not really. Like if you want someone wanted to quickly uh, do some malicious acts, like trying to steal your purse uh i guess a person that wants to do that would more likely do that on a side street like these side streets than um on one of those avenues where it's much more populated so i would say uh keep your alert level slightly higher on these side streets coming into 8th Avenue. <clears throat> I was reading how diners are closing up in uh, New York City. <laughs> There's barely any diners left. I've never visited a 9-11 museum, but based on reviews and Reddit posts, it is uh, it's a really nice experience, however, it's really, really sad. And it'll, it'll make you sad for the whole day. Um, yep, that's, that's, I don't know what else to say about it. Because uh, the, everything about it is sad and depressing and unfortunate, but it is the harsh reality of life. <clears throat> All right, we're at 8th Avenue. Uh, Avenue for the weirdos. He's like, I just want to call you, check in on you, and tell you I love you. <laughs> uh, but they're, they're definitely normal people here. But, um, <laughs> you know, I really feel bad for the tour guides up in, um, up in um, the 9-11 Museum because um, they have to do it all the time and it gets real depressing. Oh right, I was go gonna go on that side street but it was a little fishy so uh, I think I'm gonna go to a different side street. <clears throat> We're here in 8th Avenue on a Wednesday evening Little Italy pizza in uh, Midtown Manhattan. Uh, probably overpriced. Probably. I have, if I had to guess, probably overpriced. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, we're over here in Eighth Avenue. Sheesh. You see how? Uh, there's a mix of uh, <laughs> tourists and uh, more. <clears throat> my bad, I had to uh, increase my alertness a little higher because uh, some suspicious characters. All right, we're gonna enter Ninth Avenue because uh, I'm tired of um, always going the same route in Midtown. So let's see what happens in Ninth Avenue. Um, not gonna be as enthusiastic because it's Wednesday. Maybe if it was a weekend, but uh, let's see what's up. Port Authority, bus terminal. 
very high concentration of weirdos there. Port Authority bus terminal, so uh, be careful around there. <clears throat> I don't have a particular place, Glenn. Uh, our next time, I think that when Stephanie and um, when Jennifer come back, I think they had a good one for uh, Brooklyn. But uh, if you were gonna stay in Manhattan and you go to Lower Manhattan. I think anywhere in Little Italy would probably be the best because that's where they'll have the most pizza. So I have to assume they'll have in competitive prices. Not only that, you're in Lower Manhattan, which uh, at least from my experience, and you've seen me go there several times, there's not a lot of tourists. So hey, what's up? Uh, so there shouldn't be um, there shouldn't be price gouging. There shouldn't be overpriced things there. <clears throat> oh man, Christian Hansen is still having trouble. I don't see him blocked either. Hey Christian, if you uh, try a different browser, try to change your profile on Google Chrome, or because uh, I, I can't uh, unban you because all it says is remove or hide user from channel. Um, the only way to contact YouTube is through Twitter, which is kind of dumb, but uh, which is X now. But um, I go check my PC. Also, I I don't know how that even happened. We sent an email. Ah, oh, man, I feel so bad. It's like out of my control. Uh, how does this guy get blocked? Because it doesn't tell me to unban him. It is a YouTube glitch. It has to be a YouTube glitch. Try another profile. Because uh, I have to assume you have another profile. Try another profile. Um, all right, the guy on the bike doesn't stop. Oh, I'm in 9th Avenue. I missed all of Hell's Kitchen, so let's go that way. <clears throat> I would say uh, 8th and 9th Avenue look more similar to uh, Queens, and uh, I'm not sure about Brooklyn, but I have to assume. Queens and Brooklyn, pretty much in the same landmass. Um, and every time I go to Brooklyn, it uh, looks almost exactly like Queens, and I do think I'm in Queens. The architecture, the layout, everything. But when you go to the Bronx, uh, the Bronx still looks like the 80s and 90s, the canopies and the awnings, um, and just the general vibe slash atmosphere. The air is also different in the Bronx, I I'm just being honest. It's a lot more dense. Um, what else? That guy needs to make his turn. I think it's easier to make a turn here than it is uh, than it is in um, Midtown, Seventh and Fifth Avenue. If you're a car trying to make a right turn, left turn, good luck, because uh, a whole bunch of, bunch of pedestrians are gonna pass. So this is uh, Hell's Kitchen. Like I said, there's like all these buildings, regular buildings, and it looks like they opened up. Um, shops in the first floor of them. It wasn't. I guess gentrification is different depending on how they want to go about it. It seems like this is how they wanted to go about here because I don't I seriously doubt these uh, apartment buildings had all these stores. It's only uh as uh, Manhattan got pop popular. <clears throat> yeah, because if it happens on another profile, then uh, that's really weird. <clears throat> Hell's Kitchen should be uh, much more popping on a weekend, especially on a summer weekend. Right now is just uh, 
Yeah, dead. It's pretty dead. What bar is this? I got. <clears throat> Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. I forgot why they call it Hell's Kitchen. I gotta look it up. <clears throat> Some weird reason. It wasn't even enough to be memorable. Because I think I, I, I found out one time and then I forgot. So it must have not been memorable. I, the only one I tried to ban was Nightbot. Really? Oh, man. The Nightbot is essential, yo. <laughs> this is a lot like uh, how Queens looks like. The only thing is that they have these buildings. You go to Queens and Brooklyn, usually you see how they have that deli grocery in the corner. That's how a lot of uh, the other boroughs look like. But they usually don't have this whole line of uh, stores. They might have like one corner store and then they have these buildings. And uh, yeah, definitely no stores uh, like this. That's why I have to assume that during the gentrification process, these, these uh, stores popped up. They just decided not to uh, make new buildings. I'm in 9th Avenue around Hell's Kitchen, 40-something Street. Uh, Hell's Kitchen is pretty much uh, right next to Times Square if you go one avenue down. Um, a lot of restaurants. What's the name of this? <clears throat> I'm at 46th Street. Maybe I'll quickly glance through the uh, neighborhood map for you guys so uh, you guys can see again. I still have it, I think. Oh no, why is it vertical? Oops, oops, oops. My bad, guys. Go ahead, it's all right, no worries. I am right around, I am right around here, see, right around there, that's where I'm at. I can't zoom in any more than that, so uh, sorry about that guys, can't zoom in any more than that. I'm trying to exit, but this thing does not let me exit. All right, exit. All right, now we uh, need to fix the zoom. Okay, now we are good. Let's keep exploring. <clears throat> Let's go. A lot of tourists are afraid to cross the street, but you know, I cross the street. <laughs> it's good, man. Uh, no cash, man. Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, I am not lying though, I, I never really carry cash. So usually uh, the no cash thing does work. Um, not always. Because I want to be uh, respectful. It depends, you know. That guy was uh, very, his tone was respectful, everything was respectful. That's the answer I gave him. <clears throat> hey, what's up Austin City Limits? <laughs> I think uh, we're coming to the end of a Hell's Kitchen. I'll go through the other block and go down this time. Um, as you see, the restaurants start to uh, start to disappear. That's when you know. <clears throat> Why am I following the, uh, could have crossed at any time. Hey, 
I hear a cat. Where is the cat crying? Oh no. I still hear a cat. It might be on the apartment building up here somewhere. <clears throat> like the video guys, it helps with the reach of the channel so we can get uh increase our radius and track more of the uh, audience and um, subscribe for more New York City walking content. I can't stream for uh, two days because uh, I'm occupied with my supposed to be a temporary pandemic job but but um should I go here? I think there's more restaurants here. I was thinking about turning turning back. But I'll stream Saturday, I'll try to do two streams. And the pre-recording content will be back. And next week will be very uh, warm and hot. So hopefully the city starts coming alive. Uh, I'll try to stream a lot next week because the initial heating up will probably even make it really lively on the weekdays as well. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Tyler the Bot? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day Tyler says, Moment, I'm not a bot. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen, though. When? So, that's yeah. the thing. You don't see any migrants? <laughs> yeah. You don't see them in the news. There was one specific streamer. Someone came up to him, only speaking Spanish to him, and he was tired. That might have been a migrant. There are uh, certain times where I had to figure out whether they're a mount, migrant. Let's, let's go the other way now. I think we've uh, we went pretty far. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this guy. Oh, this guy cut him off, that's why he pissed. He pissed over here. Sidewalk is very cramped. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the pizza stores in Queens, they look that small. They're usually not uh, big. I noticed that the ones in Manhattan are really big. But the Chinese stores too, also in Queens, uh, they're a lot smaller. They're very small. What's up, sunshine after rain? We got a lot of people here. Oh, I think the uh, the other guys not in New York. I don't know. They gotta go. They got the right away, but uh, I could cross. And I feel bad anyway, because uh, you you know you're gonna be stuck on the light forever at this rate. What the heck is this? Lunchbox Exotics. Uh, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Definitely less concentration of uh, weirdos here. There are, but uh, they leak from 8th Avenue to 9th Avenue. But uh, for the most part, they hang out in uh, 8th Avenue. Uh, there's a lot of security and officers in um, 7th Avenue, where Times Square is, which is probably why they can't leak into that avenue, even if they wanted to. And like I said, you see more homeless people sleeping on cardboard on the 5th and 6th Avenue, because maybe my assumption is right that um, that is the tourist avenues 
So uh, they're trying to pull on their heartstrings and try to make their situation as dire as possible because tourists, it'll be more of a culture shock and they're more likely to, uh, they're more likely to uh, give money. <clears throat> because as you can see, there's not as many people on the side, sleeping on the sidewalks as you do see when I'm in uh, 5th and 6th Avenue. Um, ESWHCG, uh, I don't know how much more of a neutral term I can think of. Um, questionable characters. Uh, everybody's a human being, of course. I mean, I think I said it before, but I guess I can't expect anybody to be on that stream. But yeah, when I said weirdos, I'm like, I said, um, you're still human beings. You know, people go through uh, certain situations and uh, their mental health is, uh, sorry, I'm just a little focused on my surroundings. Their, me their mental health is, um, They need help with their mental health. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's what I, that's what I meant. I just don't have a better word. Maybe I'll just say questionable characters. Maybe that's more neutral than weirdo, because uh, weirdo may might make people feel a little offensive, offended. <clears throat> Yeah, questionable characters are also is also more more syllables, and um, questionable characters is more syllables and what else? Um, yeah, and everything else is probably offensive. So, yep. My bad, there was like a block where I wasn't really talking. There was just uh, some questionable characters around me. So I was just, uh, I was trying to um, focus on my surroundings a little bit. Con Edison doing some work. Where? Oh, right over there. That's why we can't come on to this block. What is this block? It's like, it seems to be uh, on Hell's Kitchen, there seems to be some side streets that have uh, restaurants too. <clears throat> yeah, I would say freak is more offensive, which is why I wouldn't use that term. Irrational people. That's too, uh, that's not, I don't, that might be, that, that's too broad. Questionable characters are more, is more specific. And uh, I guess eccentric has too much of a broad connotation. It can be positive and negative. Um, yeah, which is why I had to think, I, I, I had to think about it. I was like, I think Rito is pretty good. <laughs> But I don't think I've ever been to uh, Hell's Kitchen in the summer, so I don't know how lively it gets, but with all these restaurants, I have to assume that uh, it gets pretty lively. All the tourists come in. Empty, everything's empty. Yep. 
Ooh. That guy's on his phone. Oh, he messed them all up. Look at that. People don't care. They've been waiting for the left turn for so long. All right, let's venture back into uh, 6th Avenue. Uh, damn, do I want to go past Port Authority? Past all the weirdos? Hmm. Okay, I said weirdos again. I'm sorry. Questionable characters. Hey, what's up, Gary Carpenter? Oh, you lost your phone for that long? I didn't know. I thought it was just a glitch. But uh, nice to see you back. <clears throat> so we're heading back into 8th Avenue. Um, we're not going to stick to 8th Avenue. We're going to go gloss over Times Square again and go back to 6th Avenue and keep going down. And... Uh, See Brian Park again on the evening, which is mostly going to be commuters. Usually on the evenings of Brian Park, it's mostly commuters. I think on the daytime, like around uh, 12 to 3, 4 p.m., it's mm, there's a decent amount of tourists. Free movies at Bryant Park during the summer. Yeah. In the lawn. But uh, if you're not there fast enough, the lawn is full. So, uh, yep. The lawn is gets full. Believe it or not, I never really stuck around for the movie. I was just busy with life, but I've seen it get set up and everything. Um, I do wonder how the audio is going to be, because if there's so many people there, people are talking, people are, uh, you know, doing their own thing. Um, how would the uh, audio supersede the supersede the people that are talking? Would the movie be enjoyable? I wonder, but we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna watch the whole movie. I'll try to pan to the movie and try to catch the atmosphere of uh, Brian Park while the movie is playing. But um, <clears throat> we're not gonna watch the whole movie. Hopefully, my stabilization is good. Cause I think when I when I made that jump, maybe it uh, messed up a little bit. Hopefully not. I don't think so. No, I think I'm good. Port Authority bus terminal. Be careful over there. Look, there's a lot of weirdo. Oh, there's a lot of questionable characters. Okay. Man, I gotta switch my wording up now. Five guys. Five Guys feels like the most natural fast food to me. Um, all greasy. And if there was a real life Krabby Patty from SpongeBob, I think it would be from Five Guys. Uh, 
But Five Guys does make me sleepy after I eat it. Uh, none of the other fast food does that for me. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should stay uh, Stranger Danger, right? That's uh, Strange People. Yes, I think that's probably better. That's a little more broad, but uh, yeah, I think Sunshine After Rain gave me an easy new term with one syllable to use. I guess we will say that weirdos is now uh, obsolete. We'll use the term strange. There's a Target. I thought the Targets were closing. Cash Jordan's wrong. No, I'm just kidding. This Target is probably not closing, but a whole bunch of them is. I gotta walk fast. I don't want you guys to see the backs of people. So you see how, as you transition through the side streets, the uh, architecture and atmosphere changes. That's uh, how it is. It's crazy how Manhattan, the more west you go, the more uh, strange it gets. Not necessarily, I would say the strangest avenue would be 8th Avenue. And then, um, yeah, it gets more rural too. And um, east is also rural. But like I said, Midtown is where all the action is, and the tourists, and the hustle and bustle. It's not net See, the term hustle and bustle has to do with community, not necessarily tourists, I think. Um, okay, all right. We're taking up the whole side right So like, that mirror is so clear that you think you can walk through it. You ever seen those videos where like the deer just like crashed into the mirror and broke it because the deer thought uh, there was no, no, no object in front of it and then uh, something happened? So there's Times Square. We're in 7th Avenue. We're going to cross one more block to get to uh, 6th Avenue. Yeah, sometimes your port might be dirty, so you gotta watch out for that. So if your port is dirty, it's hard to charge. So if you're able to charge and not charge, it could either be the cable or your port is really dirty. You need to clean the port with a Q-tip or like one of those tiny brushes, special brushes. I don't necessarily think you have to be careful as much in Times Square because uh, I think um, they're doing a good job with security. But the CD scammers seem to be there, just not at the heart of Times Square. They seem to be hanging out right next to the Hard Rock um, because uh, I guess the security at Times Square really does not want them there. And they're also around Fifth Avenue next to Bergdorf, next to my starting location. That's where they seem to hang out too. But. Um, yeah, Times Square is a lot less scammy than usual. I think um, they've watched a bunch of YouTube videos and walking videos and seen it, and maybe uh, they made changes. But yeah, I think Times Square is, from compared to last year when I started this walking channel, uh, it doesn't feel as scammy. Um, yeah, I think last month, March of last year, was when I decided I'm gonna do a walking channel. I want to pick a walking niche. I never thought I'd be doing this two years ago. <clears throat> Everybody headed to Times Square. Everybody coming from the Times Square station trying to get into Times Square. 
we already went to Times Square, so we're not going to Times Square. Tell me what I'm man. Yeah. You can also get them from Amazon, too. <clears throat> the, uh, I guess you could put iPhone port cleaner. Or, uh, the third party charges. Got a lot of people here for a Wednesday, weekday. So uh, let's see how much my channel has leveled up on a weekend. As if I don't get uh, dog piled, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, we are, I forget which street. I can never tell the side streets because the side streets, there's no distinct feature of the side streets. So every time I go to a side street, I, I really forget the avenue, I mean, the street I'm in, unless I get to the corner and see. But the avenues, they're usually distinct enough in terms of architecture and the people, the atmosphere slash vibe that I can kind of tell. But if you put me randomly in 8th or 9th Avenue uh, and I didn't really know the stores, it would be kind of hard for me to tell, but I could make an educated guess. Because there's more strange people in 8th Avenue than 9th Avenue. So uh, you can make a determination that way. Because uh, those two avenues uh, are very similar in their architecture and the people. Uh, but once you get to 6th Avenue and then 7th Avenue, there's a clear difference. And when you go to 5th Avenue, 6th Avenue, 5th Avenue, very similar, but they definitely both have their distinctive features. Uh, definitely less commuters than 5th Avenue. More commuters than 6th Avenue. <clears throat> I will also say that when I'm around here, I always see people trying to point like this way, trying to figure out where Times Square is. Um, that's especially going to happen a lot in the summer and you can probably see it through my camera soon as the summer comes around because um, Times Square is only a few blocks away from here. Okay, this crosswalk. Here we are in Bryant Park, where uh, at this time there should be mostly commuters. I now understand what dog pile means. Damn, Peter, it took that long? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was trying to be subliminal, but then uh, I was pretty direct. But uh, I think you got it now. <laughs> I'm just playing. <clears throat> All right, I think they're tourists. Yeah, more tourists than usual, maybe. No, I don't know. The trees are still dead, but they should be coming alive soon. And uh, there's more people closer to the lawn. You can't get on the lawn. I'm going to show you go around the lawn there's definitely more people sitting down um is it tourists it's a mix it's a mix those are commuters probably tourists hey what's up man how's it going what's up what's up hey new york <laughs> new york <laughs> all right yeah tourists um Commuters, uh, it's hard to say. Tourists, I would say. Tourists, commuter, commuter, tourists. Yeah, I think I got it. 
commuter. All right, see you next time, Glenn. Let me go through right here in the middle. Not as many people here. <clears throat> but on a hot evening, it should be uh, much more, uh, much more people. Especially on a hot uh, weekend. And there's a ping pong table here. Let's, uh, let's see who wins. Oh no. Oh, let me get the thing for him. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Wait, is that the same Asian lady from 6th Avenue? I don't know. It might be. Because, uh, Because 6th Avenue, they have a uh, pool table also. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's give him two more rounds, and then let's uh, move on. Oh. Let's give him one more round, and then we move on. All right, see you next time, Audie. Thanks for uh, showing up. I'll see you uh, Saturday. I might stream really late on a Friday, but I'll see. If, it, if, if I'm gonna stream Friday, is gonna be like 9 p.m. or uh, 8:30 p.m. Um, let's see. Let's see what they do. There's one more round. Up. Oh, they won. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, I think so, Peter. I think you have to bring your own ping pong paddles. Hey, what's up? Uh, I think you need to bring your own. What's up? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even. Does he want to see? Does he want to be on screen? I can't tell. People are so late when they want to be on uh, the stream. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I guess they want to be on stream. Hey, what's up? New York, you like it? You're visiting? Yes. Oh, it's nice, right? Yes. Yeah, be, be careful of scammers, okay? Yes. Yeah, be careful of the CD guys and the monks. Yeah, have a good one, man. Peace. <clears throat> All right, um, let's get out of here. Been here long enough. One Vanderbilt. But unless, um, I don't know, some sort of context, I think you have to bring your own paddles. I'll let you know if that uh, changes. Because I have to assume that uh, you can't trust people when they, because uh, they could be taking the paddles and the balls. <clears throat> All right, let's. Going. I also noticed as I uh, go lower, there also seems to be more uh, New Yorkers slash commuters. Lower uh, 5th and 6th Avenue. See you next time, Bertram Joshua. Oh, I can't tell. Maybe he's saying good night, as in, is it good night? Not good night, as in he's leaving. Hard to say. All right, see you next time, Gary Carpenter. See you uh, Saturday or Sunday. Or Monday or Tuesday. <clears throat> I 
like the video guys like liking the video has an immediate effect on the reach of the channel subscribe for more new york city walking content uh, i can't stream for the next two days but i'll try to do two streams on saturday and the pre-recorded videos will be coming back <clears throat> and i think right now we're in peak bloom for uh cherry blossoms so um yeah Oh, right, jaywalking like New Yorkers should. I think uh, next time we might uh, switch it up a little, not Saturday, but uh, maybe go through us and yards, half of the High Line, go through uh, Hell's Kitchen. You'll be there next week, Marisol. Enjoy. I think uh, I noticed a lot of people coming at this time. I do think you guys are picking the right time and season because it's uh, not too crazy and it's uh, good weather. It's not too cold. Um, some people might say fall, but you gotta wear a jacket. Right now, I don't think you have to wear a jacket. Um, so, good time to come because um, the tourists haven't flooded in yet. <clears throat> All right. I can't cross yet. <clears throat> And if you want to experience the holidays before the holidays get crazy, like it's gonna get crazy. Like Midtown is just gonna get overpopulated. I think it gets, oh, my bad guys. Oh my gosh. Oh no, my gimbal, my gimbal is out of battery. Oh, we are screwed. Yeah guys, damn, I'm gonna have to cut this stream early. Sheesh, I don't got a power pack on me. I thought I charged it yesterday. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I guess that's it for me. Sheesh. I was like, I don't need a battery pack today because the iPhone goes more than two hours, but my gimbal just went out. I swear I charged it. Anyways, guys, uh, we're still a little far away to Koreatown. Wow, this is the first time I end the stream less than two hours. I'll see you guys uh, Saturday. I'll I'll let you know if I stream Friday night, very late. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more New York City walking content. And uh, peace out at 6th Avenue. Man, because uh, without the gimbal, we're going to be like this.